page. Hey, there's the new card out in the bush. So far, so good. Dave was here with his buckets. Just looks like he got the one rock out. Oh well, okay. Um, today I'm gonna see if I can get these rocks out down here. Make this up on a slope so I can carry dirt out easier because. All right, here we are. I don't know how long later because I don't have a clock. Let's put the lab in the hole. Okay. Picked up another rock back here. I got to move first, then this guy. Probably some underneath her feet there. And then that big guy. And we're trying to get down in the hole down here underneath these big boulders, hoping there's something to be found. That's a two foot tall bucket, roughly. As you can see, the shovel is, well, let's see, five and a half footer, five footer anyway. Now, holes here, on this side it's up another foot, so you're looking at at least four feet to that point, five where I'm standing, five, five and a half down at the bottom. And a perfectly good puppy is getting chewed by flies and so am I. So here's what you've got to do when you're out here that people don't tend to show you. Yeah, without these things, you're eaten alive. Even the back of my hands are raw when I come home from them biting me through this glove. Unbelievable, eh? So this is the real deal. This is uh, the old way. Get out and dig right down and in. So I'm going to dig some more. I've got my ramp created so I can roll these guys out. So I'm going to get down around them, get down around them there, get all this stuff out, and then up they go, and I will fill them again. Here's the dog. She's found a bank on the right. Tall grass on the left. She can get her nose into the grass there and keep the bugs off her nose. She's breathing a little heavy, but she's okay. That's the big rock. Give you an idea. I'll hold that puppy up the ramp here. And after I got it out, it was sitting on the left here. Um, I dug down here and hit very coarse clay-like sand. So I'm gonna take a sample of that because it's under these big boulders. Chances are that's a layer that definitely might have something in it. Uh, just to give you an idea again, right now, where I just dug down to, this is five and a half feet, so the bank is up another six inches there, another foot there roughly. But as you can see, I didn't get, as you can see now, I didn't get everything. Just that one spot, that rock was a real pain, and there were several small ones jarred in around it, of course, you know. So, oh, that's it for a bit. Bugs are literally eating me alive. Okay, I got down between those rocks. There's lots of smaller ones buried down here. Um, another couple of inches is all. These are the kind of gravels that I'm screening out of it, of that clay-like layer, the sandy clay that's down at the bottom. And here's what it looks like compared to the overburden, which is uh, very, very fine, dusty stuff. This stuff you can stick together like clay. And it's, it's hard to dig out. I mean, it takes a lot to bust this up enough that it loose, it's loose and comes out. So that's going to be my samples because, believe it or not, I'm getting so chewed up by the bugs today. They, there's got to be a hundred in this hole alone and about another 50 around my head. It's just insane. There's some of the stuff I pulled out today. Some of it's already dry, right? Some here. Dave pulled that bucket of stuff out. I'm not sure what he's up to. We'll let him take care of it. Uh, I also threw out all this over here. That's from building up the ramp. Now, unfortunately, the ramp's got to go south, or sorry, east. 
It can't go west up the hill. There's nothing more up there. It's going to be down here on the plains and out that way because that's where the berm goes southwards. We're at the nose of a berm that runs south and that berm has something strange in it that is an electromagnetic anomaly. There's a word for you. Anyway, that electromagnetic anomaly has been detected by three different types of um, magnet, magnetic uh, reconnaissance or whatever you want to say. Um, it runs down two of our four claims, right down along the western side, just in, in along the claims. Now there's a gravel pit down here. He's done some digging here and there. And uh, we can check those. I've, I've took a look at some of the rocks. It's very similar to what I'm pulling out here. Boulders, right? This one uh, I took a picture of and put in the last video. It's got a, some kind of a coating on it. And it appears to be some kind of iron underneath. Um, you can see this one is some kind of... Uh, it's just shining. Quartz. There's lots of little pieces of this and that. Okay, Some of it is so brittle... You can break it with your hands or smash it. Like, look at that. All right, full of iron. All right. Um, they're not really worth sampling. We're not going to be crushing. We're looking for placer gold, and placer gold's on the bedrock down there under the boulders. So that's what we're up to. Um, I guess that's it for now because I'm heading out of here.